Well, what about the liberty of the individual who invested all of that money and risk and resources into creating the company only to not be able to reap the rewards, right? Okay, How is it justified like, to take that by force, which is always what happens well, what with socialism, you, wait, what you, from what Jeff Bezos? What do you mean by that? What are you taking? Well, you said his he, money? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, he, his workers are the people that provide the labor. The fruits of Amazon are because of his workers. I would disagree. Really? So explain to me what you mean by that, that you're a libertarian socialist. Okay, so what I mean is, the way I see libertarian socialism is I see it as democratization of the economic sphere, right? Mm -hmm. So we've had democratization of the political sphere, right? We had that with like the Enlightenment, which led to liberalism, liberal democracies, that would, that's what we have today. Democratization of the economic sphere, I see as workers controlling their pursuits in their work, mm -hmm. controlling their workplaces, having a say in decisions uh, within their corporations, in the places they work, instead of a very rigid, hierarchical, top-down system where you have a board, you have the C-suite, you know, commanding orders from the top down. Mm -hmm. I think that if you work at a place like, say, Amazon, um, you should have an equal say in the operations of that company as Jeff Bezos does or as, you know, anyone else does because, I mean, you all work for this entity, you know? So a couple of things. Um, first off, I'm not a big fan of Amazon, but let me oh, ask you this. Really? Uh, no, yeah, no, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Um, how do you juxtapose that with the idea of libertarianism, which is the right of the individual? Because you just said that I it, a that worker... That's actually entrusting liberty to the individual. Well, what about the liberty of the individual who invested all of that money and risk and resources into creating the company only to not be able to reap the rewards, right? Okay, how is it justified like, to take that by force, which is always what happens well, what with socialism, you, wait, what you, from what Jeff Bezos? What do you mean by that? What are you taking? Well, you said his he, money? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, he, his workers are the people that provide the labor. The fruits of Amazon are because of his workers. I would disagree. Really? Which, well, the, he started Amazon. He did. There are no Amazon. workers without them. Do you really believe that the labor of, for example, putting a postage stamp is the same as someone who invested millions, potentially billions of dollars lost in their own savings, right? Invested in a company, built it from the ground up. Do you really think that they I, should be compensated the same? Here's the th I'm not saying that there should be equal wages. I okay. feel like that's that's something that is so far, like from a socialist perspective, something so far in the future, it's not really even worth discussing right now. What I think... I think like it is important I because would, I need to know your end game. Oh, like what is... Yeah, I need to know in your, in your idea, sort of, and I think that you're, I don't think I'm mischaracterizing you and that this is sort of a utopia, which we know will never happen. Um, but what would that look like? Because as a business owner, I would never have started my, I employ 15 people. And by the way, what I pay I significantly more than 15 an hour. What I think. I would have never started it if I thought that I would have the same amount of say as I get my 15 that employees. Because that is a lot of sunk costs that you put in into starting something, right? I made no money for half a decade. I understand that, but the way I see it, or the way I think companies should be moving in the future is towards a, like a worker co-op type of model, right? Mm -hmm. A model where you know, there like there's true democracy in the workplace. You have workers discussing, all right, what is our company's operations going to look like for this? Like, what are we doing with X? Like, everyone gets a say in it because everyone is affected by it, right? Like, if you are involved in a system and you have no say or no choice in how that system operates or how it, um, yeah, literally just how it operates, then, I mean, that seems... Well, let me, let me ask you this. So, because um, you just used the example of a system, so if, if I may, I'd like to go with sort of your allegory no, there. Um, do you believe that every person who uses a system of iOS or uses a system of Microsoft, do you believe that they're I mean, just? That's, oh, do you that's believe that they're just as? No, no, it's not. Do you believe that they're just as qualified in determining how that system should work as the person who created the system? No, because if you're a consumer of iOS, you're not involved in the like the facilitation of it. Like you're not. So let me ask you this, and let me scale it back a little bit. I was using your analogy of the system. Do you believe that people who work on the lower levels at Apple, on the floor, for example, putting together iPhones, or people okay. with people with whiteboards, do you believe I that understand. they should have? I think I know where you're they're just going. as capable. In your specialization of labor expertise. I totally understand that. I'm not saying totally disregard things like expertise. Like if you. Have 
have, say, Apple, you have very specialized employees working on a very specialized product that mm -hmm. they're selling, right? It wouldn't make sense for someone like a janitor working at Apple in order to be able to, like, deliberate how something like that. So then who determines which person's opinion is permissible? involved in the process. That's my thing, is, like, because it's the same thing I So you mean the, all the workers? Workers, yes. So the workers would vote? Yes. Do you yes. not think that the janitors would vote for themselves to be well, specialized I mean, engineers? Well, I mean, I don't think that's exactly how it would work. It's hard to speculate as well how something like that would work with, um, like, I, Apple. Like I don't think it would. Really? I don't think it was, I know. I'm just asking you, like, why would the, you don't think the janitor would say, like, oh, yeah, I want to do that job? Why would they vote against themselves? My point is, as a business owner, I have people who work for, 15 people who work for my yes. business. I am so grateful that not all of them have a say in every decision that's made because many of them have no idea and many of them would that's not want thing. the responsibility not, of difficult decisions. I'm not even saying completely disregard expertise when it comes to making decisions that require that expertise and specialization, right? Okay. But I feel like... But how do you enforce this? Say Let's say the are, workers vote, okay? Yeah. So in a free society, a libertarian society, the workers vote and the business owner says, no. Well, I mean, in that theoretical society, there would be no owner. <laughs> like, all these workers would be equal participants. So then how do the businesses get created and started? Like I said, like, worker co-ops. Like, I feel like we should eventually move towards a system in which you have worker-owned cooperatives. So how do like, you displace the current owners and turn it into co-ops, right? At some point... Bernie you... Sanders actually... Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren actually had... Um, they kind of had a plan on this, okay. not exactly to the extent that I would envision it, but the same Elizabeth Warren who went after the GameStop yeah, betters and defended thing, Wall Street. Here's the thing: I'm not. I know. A fan. I not. know that you were pissed. At, you must have been pissed about that, right? I'm not. I'm not a fan of Elizabeth Warren. I'll tell you that. But all right, um, common ground. <laughs> but um, they both proposed, like, hey, like we need worker representation on the board, right? on boards of these companies. Like workers who work on these floors of these companies, <laughs> workers who are doing a brunt of the amount of work that provides, uh, like what you love about Amazon is the fact that it's so efficient, is that they get you your shit in one day, right? Like the fact that they're very efficient in doing what they do, but that comes at the expense of these workers, that comes at the expense of, um, I mean, like you know. So I, well, I don't. Ag I don't agree with your, your premise that workers are doing the brunt of it. And I think that anyone. And there's really? look. And here's the thing. Here's what's interesting to me. Okay, can so I can I finish? Can I make a no, point here? Ahead, yeah. What's interesting to me is, for example, if you look at the increase in corporate tax rates, okay, supported by Amazon, supported by all the big companies. You look at the lockdowns, uh -huh. supported by all the big companies, right? We've created more. And this is Bernie supported lockdowns. Elizabeth Warren supported lockdowns. Socialists supported lockdowns. They're the party of big business. Let me explain to you why. There are no more. No, let me explain to you why. We have created more billionaires this last year. Do you realize that? Than ever. No, billionaires have gotten insanely rich. No, no, this but band. only this last year. And there have been more middle sized businesses and small sized businesses that have sh been shuttered than ever before. Yeah, which now, is guess exactly what? Those mid sized businesses oppose the higher corporate taxes, oppose the democratic they, socialism. The only people who support oppose. it are Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Well, they support the your ideas, but people like me who employ 15 to 50 people are against it. You say it. they support my ideas, and yet I want democratization of the workplace. They definitely don't support that. Well, guess who's going to have the ability to get a waiver just like Obamacare, the big companies? So we'll have to demo democratize my workplace, but they Your won't do that at Amazon. Works. I mean, do we dis do you disagree with me that there are elites who have more influence and lobbyists for Amazon than absolutely. me with my little absolutely. YouTube I mean, channel? That's just that's just how this country operates. Right. It's like and the I just, influence of like effective oligarchs. And do you see like big tech companies like Jeff Bezos is of the world? And it's like, interesting that we're sort of we went from the bureaucrat phase to the oligarch phase to invoke sort of or Orwell, right? Which is where we are at this yeah. point, where almost conservatives now. I th here's one thing where I think we can find common ground because a lot of people say like, well, you sound like a socialist to me, but let me explain to you why, where I go, look, you have uh, five companies, the wealthiest people increase their net worth by 600 billion in six months in this pandemic, right? Insane. That's Insane. Like we agree that that's terrible, world. right? Yeah. Do we both agree like that's absolutely now we probably agree it's morally reprehensible. Yes. The same thing that all these billionaires are created when small businesses are suffering. Now here's where we differ. Okay. I think it's reprehensible. Not if they made their money honestly, I couldn't care less. If they if Amazon made that money, I think it's impossible. Well, no, my, my point is if they made the money because 
I chose their goods or services voluntarily, I don't have a problem. The reason they made that money is because of Elizabeth Warren's and Bernie Sanders and Biden's and Kamala Harris's who shut down the economy and determined winners and losers. In other words, Absolutely, I was precluded from going to a local grocer. I couldn't go to the local coffee shop. In Michigan, I couldn't go to the local nursery, but I could go to Costco and I could order from Amazon. Here's the thing, I totally agree with everything you just said, but our difference comes with the solution. Right, I don't believe I, that more government would make it better. I think more government I has think, made it worse. I think that government keeping these businesses afloat is not only good, I think they had a moral obligation to do so. But they didn't keep businesses afloat. No, exactly, that's They only problem. gave money to their wealthy that's donor class. Problem. And Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.